Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We only have two pieces of news to you today, but one of them is of particular importance. Today marks the one-year anniversary of Charles Vallows' death. As things stand right now, Charles was killed in a self-defense situation. Now, this was the story given to law enforcement by Alex Cox, the shooter, and also Lori's brother, and Lori Vallow. It is my opinion that this case was never fully investigated, and Lori and Alex probably got away with murder. It has been reported in some news sources that there is now an investigation into Lori regarding Charles's death, but I haven't seen any formal verification of that yet, or any statements from law enforcement. I hope that's the case, because I really think we need to see justice for Charles in this situation, as well as justice for Joseph, JJ, Tylee, and Tammy. The other story that happened that came to us last night comes from Justin Lum of Fox 10 News. You can see his tweet on the screen and also his Twitter address. Please give him a follow. The link is in the description below. He came out with some more court documents that were filed recently, an order to seal. Apparently there was a stipulation between both parties in the case, and the court issued this motion saying that the court has the right to seal, temporary or permanently, certain issues in the case that may arise in order to preserve a right to a fair trial. Now, what are they talking about? Well, let's read the document. Paragraph 1, ICAR 32I1, states that records may be temporarily or permanently sealed if the court finds that doing so may be necessary to prevent harm to any person or persons. As stated in this rule, individual privacy interests are balanced with the public interest of disclosure. Number 2, ICAR 32I2, states that certain determinations must be made before records can be sealed by the court. According to ICAR 32I2E, Records can be sealed if the court determines that sealing the records would preserve the right to a fair trial. Number three, the court finds that the defendant's privacy interest and right to a fair trial outweigh the public interest of disclosure in the matter of whether an attorney conflict of interest exists. It is hereby ordered that all hearings, recordings of hearings, court minutes, documents, including motions, memorandums, briefs, and affidavits, shall be sealed regarding the issue of whether counsel is conflicted. This order includes the party stipulation. Basically, all that's talking about is the issue before the court of whether Mark Means cannot represent Lori because of a conflict of interest. Now, this arises from the hearing that we had on Lori after the felony conspiracy charges were placed on her. During that hearing, it was brought up before the judge that Mark Means may not be able to represent Lori because at one point in time, he maybe represented Chad Daybell. Now, when he was asked by the judge if he has represented anyone else involved in this case, he said no, he never has, not with any, you know, never had a criminal defense of anyone else involved in the case. Hmm, interesting, because Mark Means' Twitter states the exact opposite. And it was common knowledge amongst at least all of us following this case that he was representing both of them. So, did he lie to the court? Eh, maybe. Did he actually represent Chad in a legal proceeding? Maybe not at that time. Was he retained by Chad? Certainly seems so. He says himself he represented Mr. Chad Daybell. So, apparently there's going to be a hearing on this. I thought after we watched that hearing, and I even said, I think Rob Wood is going to push this. So, I guess that's what's happening. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Certainly, the fastest way for us to find out is the next time there is a public hearing, we'll see who shows up with Lori. It might not be Mark Means. So, we'll keep our eye on that. So, that's all that's happening in the news right now. The case is really quiet for the moment. While we wait for all the forensics to come in, we wait for new charges, and we'll be getting underway with the preliminary hearings August 3rd and 4th for Chad. August 10th and 11th for Lori. Hopefully, those will be televised. We're just going to have to wait and see. So, that's all there is in the news today. Please take care. Please stay safe out there. And stay tuned for more updates.